Hello, I've had a request to show you some quick demonstrations about how I'm using the web platform Flat.io to complete music theory curriculum online. The first thing I'd like to show you is that uh, just by going to Flat.io, you can sign up with uh, Google or with Apple, and this is a free web-based music notation program that anyone can use to complete homework assignments. Um, so I'm going to sign in with my Google account. This is the free version. Uh, this does not cost anything. Uh, the free version, you can have up to 10 scores or 10 projects going on. I have actually paid uh, and upgraded to the full version so that I can have many more projects at any given time. Um, so first, let me just show you what a music score setup looks like. I'm gonna create a new private score. I'm just gonna call it demo. And since I'm using this a lot for music theory, I'm gonna do it with a, a piano. So here is what the basic generated score looks like. From here, I can create a four voice chorale using, there are two voices up here that I can use. Um, for anything with a down stem, I use the pink second layer. And for anything with an up stem, I use the blue uh, first layer. So let's say I wanna do a quick baseline here that they have to um, then provide Roman uh, Roman numeral analysis for and then they have to fill in the upper voices so let's just be in C major why not you can go ahead and click across here and just uh, click on the staff um, it works just like any other music notation software or you can learn the shorthand if you press um, the number that's in parentheses associated with each duration and then the letter on your keyboard of the note that you want you'll get that duration and that letter so i want quarter notes um, so i'm going to hit three and then i want to C because i want to start on the one chord and if I want to move it, I can just back it up using my arrow keys, move it up and down using my arrow keys. Now it's going to continue using quarter notes until I press uh, another um, shortcut key for a duration, but I'm just going to arrow over and let's just do a um, one, two, six, five, six, one. One. Now see it automatically moved that C up. It tries to predict what it thinks you want, but I want to step back down. Um, now in order to delete a measure, add a measure, um, you can click on measure and there's a minus or a plus. I want to click over here in the second measure and delete it. I don't need that. You can add articulations, ornamentations, dynamics, and then the text function is what I have um, used a lot and, have, and I found really useful. So I said I wanted that second chord to be a 2-6 chord. So I'm going to click on um, actually just lyrics in order to create figured bass for my chords. And I'm going to click on that chord. Six. There we go. Okay. So from here, uh, you can share this with a student, make them a collaborator on it, and then they can edit it and you could view it. And that's what I was originally doing. I was creating a document for every student in my class, which wasn't too bad because I only have eight students in my Music Theory 2 class. Um, but for a larger class, um, <laughs> that's, that's impossible. So that's where the flat IO for education comes in. But before I hop over to that, I just want to show you my students would then use the two different voices to add their upper voices to the score and then I'd have them add Roman numerals and you can do that using this classic chord function under text and they can click on the first note and um, just start typing Roman numerals. So I want a, a major one chord so I'm going to do an uppercase 
I for one. And then it gives me various options across the bottom. Uh, and I hit enter because I just want a triad. Okay, and then it'll move to the next chord. Well, here I want a minor two six chord. So I did little i, little i. Now I'm going to hit six and it's going to give me an option. And I can click that. And then I want a five. And then I want a one chord. The only thing that flat IO is missing for some reason is let's say I wanted a five seven chord in third inversion. Um, as you start typing, it'll only give you an option for a five four three. There is no five four two. Uh, so that's just something I have my students create a annotation up above. Oops, sorry. Yeah, an annotation up above, and they're just adding in something like that for me so that I know that they know what inversion that seventh chord is supposed to be in. Everything automatically saves. They don't have to do anything to save it. If they want to maybe work in flat IO to create an assignment and then submit it to Canvas, um, perhaps as a PDF, they can go up to the print option and uh, they can just print it as a save as PDF from here and then they can submit their work however you want them to submit their work. Now let me show you the flat IO for education. Um, I'm currently using the uh, a free 90, it's basically a 92 day trial of the educational version of this. But what's really nice about it so far is that, um, oh, I have to log in using my um, university account. So I'm gonna sign in to the domain for my school, which was really easy to set up. I'm gonna log in using my Office 365. And here you can see that I have already created a class for Music Theory 2. Uh, right now, my students are taking a quiz and actually uh, I've already got one who has um, submitted the quiz. Um, but you can, from here, create an assignment. And I really like its template, I think is the thing that I'm gonna be using all of the time. You can just share scores for them to read um, or maybe you want them to um, mark up a score. You can do shared writing. I'm using the template. I'm giving them a figured base and then they have to fill in the upper voices. So you can add a new assignment. I'm going to click template. You can uh, write the title of your assignment as well as your instructions. And then on the next page, if you hit continue, you can um, go ahead and use one of the scores that you already created. So I created the score that I wanted to use as my template. And now my students are currently taking that quiz. What here, reviews, wonderful. So sent on time, here we go. Okay, and so we can see that this student has completed their part writing quiz and supplied Roman numerals across the bottom for the quiz. And then I will probably um, export this as a PDF and then you know mark up all over it, although I haven't played with uh, annotating on top of the score, so that might be something that I may be able to do. I don't know yet. Um, in Canvas, apparently this can integrate. So in the future, I am hoping that when I go to my Canvas course for Music Theory 2 and I want to create a new assignment, I can create a new assignment and use one of the um, uh, external tools for the submission type. Right now, flat IO is not one of the options, but you can have your administrator add that, and I've already put in the request to see if we can add flat IO. That way it's seamless for your students. If you're using Canvas for everything, 
Um, you can create an assignment, have flat IOB or external tool. So when they go to complete that assignment, they'll click on the information for it and then just click on a link that'll take them to flat IO where they can just complete the work and then hit submit and then everything is, is through Canvas for them. I think the better uh, it's a better option to have everything centrally located. Um, if you want to learn more about flat IO, IO. And across the top, you can click on education and then you can see that it will work. Uh, I think what most people will be interested in is a Google Classroom, Office 365, Canvas, Moodle. Um, you can do your own individual pricing um, for 50 users. It's $75 for a year. So that seems incredibly reasonable. Everything is cloud-based and all, you have to um, I really say go ahead and play around with it on your cell phone as well just to see I was really happy with how easy it was for students because some of them don't have a desktop computer or a laptop computer and um, I was thinking in the future going paperless in my classroom they all have cell phones um, and I could have some tablets available to them so there's all the information about it um, you know it's part part of Google Cloud and also a partner with Microsoft. So that means it's, it's gonna be compatible with so many things. Uh, and so far, the only bug that I've experienced with the program is the fact that I can't get a third inversion seventh, seventh chord. Um, so go ahead, um, try out a free account, play around with it, and uh, contact me if you have questions.